When a patient has eosinophilic esophagitis, the question is often posed of whether this is going to go to other parts of the intestinal tract or not. In our clinical experience, we have not seen that to be the case in the majority of patients. The one time that one might think that's the case is if the other parts of the intestinal tract were not assessed uh, uh, properly uh, initially. So there may have not been biopsies performed of the small intestine or stomach to see whether there was inflammation or not. In addition, if one has symptoms related to the small intestinal tract or the stomach, such as abdominal pain, bleeding, or diarrhea, one might need to think about the disease being present past the esophagus. That's an interesting point, and we presented data on this at DDW um, last year. Uh, I was struck with uh, a good number of patients who had EOE, which is an EGID, who on follow-up endoscopies may get irritation of this uh, small bowel, especially the duodenal bulb, which is the very first part of small bowel, and then on a follow-up endoscopy, that irritation may have gone. Now, and the irritation is eosinophilic. So there is, again, this is our own personal observation which we have presented, uh, and I have no other, the, I think we need to keep an open mind that what is, stays is A, will not stay A forever, it could become B or a C down the road, but hopefully it will stay as an A, but we need to keep an open mind. I'll give you an example. Years ago, there's an inflammatory bowel disease called ulcerative colitis, and it was the teaching ever and ever and ever again, uh, or over and over and over again, that uh, ulcerative colitis only affects the large bowel, and it starts from the rectum and goes in. I mean, there's no two ways about it. That's how it was. And then in the last 15, 20 years, including a study I did, so even though that is still, that would technically be Crohn's, but it's ulcerative colitis. So, and then there was a paper recently where a group of patients with ulcerative colitis did not have inflammation in the rectum, which is the very bottom part of their colon, but actually just further in, in the very end, which is a cecum, known as a cecal patch. So. Um, I think the more we know, the less we really know in a way, and I think uh, the best thing we can do is keep an open mind. Uh, so far, it is not taken for granted that EJs will progress to another organ, but I think we just need to know more.